Hello, good morning, good day, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching Thanksgiving Feast Candle. That's for the weekly drop coming up this Thursday. You're going to get a side of mashed potatoes and gravy with sage stuffing, you all. Um, out here on the open concept, you can see this is, you know how the blends candle were made where it's that vinegar glass. They burn high, they burn hot, but once you trim, you'll be okay. The wax doesn't get murky or grody. Um, I'm several days into the burn on this candle and the projection out here, you all projection across the room, standing across from it, right up on it. Like, how does that do? Well, the projection on it is very low. Let me say that. So to anybody thinking that the mashed potatoes and gravy, the stuffing is going to be very offensive, not to worry because this does not project far at all all so this is one of these ones that's going to get stronger by each burn so therefore the throw on this i have to give it about a solid six because it doesn't throw heavy on the scent notes that it says it gives um this is going to give you if you open a box of stove top stuffing that sir that sagey herby blend that's in stove top stuffing um, very boxed, very generic, not homemade at all, right? The gravy, I get the gravy note once you extinguish it, but I'm getting, uh, I've seen those Heinz, uh, gravy in a jar. I, I ain't judging nobody if they use it, but you know, I'm, I'm a Southern girl. We, we flour and butter and we, we make our own. This ain't that and that ain't this, right? Mashed potatoes. I don't get the mashed potatoes note at all. So again, to anybody thinking this is going to be a very offensive candle, actually it's not. It's very heavy on the sage, which I don't mind because I like earthy, right? So back here in the smaller bedroom, I'm a few days in. Let's see, does it pick up in strength? A little, a little, right? But the, the projection crossing this threshold, I still had to come in the room to smell it. So to me, it gets a, a low slash medium right uh the roll wise um i still have to give it about a six six and a half it still didn't give you all the scent notes that it said it would give and to some people that's going to be a good thing right um but if you're a sagey herby woodsy herbaceous you like that then you can just throw this with white tea and sage if you have some sitting from sass or Anything that you have very sage base, you can definitely blend with it. So again, um, I think it's cute, like in a gag gift, like how my family does the white elephant Christmas. Somebody be like, what the hell is this? What she just gave me for the collectors? Yes, it's going to be one to have. But, I, you know, just think in the candy community. Remember, DW Homes do this every year. Don't know how their sales are going, but they do it every year. And Bath and Body Works just got on the trend. And then giving us something different with the weekly drop. So to anybody thinking, oh my God, this is weird. This is this is horrible. Again, uh, the color changing label is beautiful, but it's just very heavy on the sage. The foodie like sage. A box stuffing that's heavily herbed and sage. You can even call it one of those Pepperidge Farms. Um, it looks like a bag of croutons, but they call it stuffing to me type of thing right um i don't get cornbread stuff and i get crouton off the bag stuffing but nonetheless i i'm weird i'm left brain i'm a risk taker that sage note in it i don't mind it um i cooked tonight for monday night football and this is what i had lit on the counter i'm going to finish it and i'm going to get one more for the collection during the sale come thursday and y'all it's not horrible but if you're just not sure and you're a collector of course we want it uh the holidays are approaching you looking for a gag gift i don't think you can go wrong with these ones and i'm gonna see y'all on the next video probably the cranberry orange seltzer bye